create database and entity framework core using the code first approach welcome to coding friday guys my name is chandrashwaryani and this is a tutorial in what we will see how we can create the database using the models in the ef core so let's uh, start practically with the implementation and open the visual studio 2019 so here is my visual studio and i'm going to create a new project for that so i'm going to create a ASP.NET Core web application and you can name it like anything. Let's say EF Core Code First Approach and click on this create. Now select this API one, click create. Now it will create the project for, for us MT1 and thereafter there are number of steps we which we need to follow. Okay, here we are. Maybe as we always do, let's get rid of this file. Also, let's remove this file. Okay, now after that, let's see what are our steps. So, our steps are we have to install these NuGet packages. So, let's copy and install these packages at first. So you get package console, package console, CLS and run this command. The first package is entity framework core design and I can zoom it so that it is properly visible. Now press enter. Now the second package is the SQL server. Paste it press enter now the third package is tools paste it and the third package is entity framework core dot tools okay so these are the three packages let's check right click go to this edit watch files and let's see we have these three packages now we have to create the order model so let's create an order model add new folder view model inside that let's create a class order model now for the property properties let's take the reference from this order model so this is the model in the same property we will create in the database using this code first approach so these are my four properties and i'm using this data annotation key that means this will treat this as a primary key and after that it says create order db context class so let's create a folder here inside the same solution although it should be in different but as of now just for the demonstration sake I'm creating in the same project create a class called order db context so let's have the reference of our order db context and copy the class as it is and replace this class so basically this class says inherit from the db context this is the mandatory one and then provide the your model so that I can create the tables. This is your constructor and on config, uh, basically this is the method which exists in this class and while on con configuring, it requires the connection string. So this is the connection string of my database. Now this connection string would come in picture when we want to retrieve the data from the database or when we want to save the data. So we will cover that thing also in the example. So I'm just keeping this as it is as of now. And then it says, add the app setting connection string so again let's take the reference from the github and copy this app setting and the startup one so let's add the app setting here so this is nothing again the connection string for your sql server order db this is a database i want to create same order db this is a db i want to use so with this with this it will create and with this it will 
access so what is the next one next one is we have to configure the startup configurations now let's go to the startup file and come here so provide the db context name and the connection string which has to be the same one yep and this use sql server now let's move to the next step it says to run the migration so that we can see or we can create the database but before this i'm going to create this order controller i'll tell you why i'm doing this at first so let's create order controller add new controller let's create an empty controller name it order i think it will take some time meanwhile let's copy the code and come back here it's still creating so meanwhile i can i can tell you what exactly it is so basically there are two methods one is the create order and uh, we will provide the order model from ui or right now i'll use the postman and then uh, we will basically try to get the orders which we have just saved so i'm covering that as well and why i'm creating the order controller at first so that we can first uh, you know call this and we'll see that we'll get the exception because the database right now does not exist does not exist in the sql server so let's remove this or replace this with and provide the order model that's all after that the next step is uh create this order access and i order access okay so let's create the data connection classes as well so the first one is the interface and it will have the two methods and also its implementation so i am going to create an interface let me just cancel and create a class and basically it is an interface is it here so it has just two uh, two methods one is get all orders and another one is save all orders and the implementation access in this class order data access so again create a class and this time it's a class which will provide the implementation for those two methods provide the namespace by passing control dot okay now you know as of now i don't have the database so let's first of all build our application you see we have some issue so let's fix this by importing the namespace and also uh, in the startup file you have to make the entry entry for dependency injection of that i order data access so that at the control level you will get the dependency now run the application also one more thing let's do this because we will have the exception at first because we don't have the data so let's try to catch the exception now run once again get the url 4378 and uh let me open the postman opening postman will take time i'll pause meanwhile the video and will resume when postman opens okay we have the postman and let's paste the url 44378 api orders get all 
and the URL is the same get all API and controller which is order one now let's set a breakpoint oh sorry let's click on a send button we have the breakpoint here and we should get the exception which we are expecting basically now it is trying to connect with the database which actually does not exist and we have the exception let's see what it is it says cannot open database of course you cannot open database because you do not have now let's create the database and for that open your package manage controller and run a command add migration and after that name it anything uh, the name of migration which you want to give so add migration maybe order db mic xyz anything you can name it so it will create the migration files and with the help of those files we will create the database so it says build has been successfully completed and let's see where are my migration file here you will see automatic one folder is created and two files are there so this is the properties of your table and also the uh, length and the type as well everything is included here and here we have two methods up and down down is for the dropping the table and up is for creating the table so each time when you will run the command these two methods will be executed and if the database or table exists it will drop and then recreate so let's run the application or oh, sorry run the package console once again and click on oh, sorry run a command update database now it should update the data or oh, actually create the database with the help of those migration when you will run the same command if the database exists already it will replace this with new files okay we have the done so that means we should have the database and just to verify we have the database what we have to do again go to our postman 44378 the URL is same now once it is running we will call the method click on the send now let's see what happens see we do not have the exception but also we do not have the data now let's save the data as well at first so this is my URL 44378 and this is my post method this is a body tag draw JSON so these are the few items I'm going to provide click on this send button and we have the breakpoint already here so it will go to the save order and it will save the changes now let's add one more so I'll have to get a, another unique id so vs gives you the option to generate the id each time and i want to enter the two records and the id has to be unique because this is our time key. and let's create three double two and maybe card number four three two one and test product two now click on this and s f10 it has saved the data just to verify just click on get f10 so it will return the list of here we are four three two one and one two three so this was a simple and basic example how you can generate the database using the models also how you can you know retrieve the data and save the data thank you for watching uh, this video if you have any feedback or query kindly let me know and please uh, just subscribe the channel uh, thank you for being at Coding4.